This is the kanji which means morning and it's pronounced asa. This chart shows the development of this kanji from the more ancient forms, these here, to forms to about 2,000 years ago, here, and finally this is our seal kanji, which was the way it was standardized about 2,000 years ago. Have a look at the elements at the bottom here, and you can see that on the left-hand side, in each case, there's that sun element. And again, because this is a time character, then it makes perfect sense that in each one you're going to find that sun. And even in the more modern characters, the sun is the one feature that's totally consistent. Okay, moving back again to the more ancient characters, the element on the right-hand side originally was a depiction of a river. And you can see very clearly that river on the right hand side. But once we go to the more modern characters you can see that that right hand side element has changed quite a bit and so now it's starting to look well like all sorts of different things but finally this is the character here that is the closest to the modern form and if you check that right hand side it looks very much like the character for a moon. And then finally on the top of the sun on the left hand side you can see an element which very clearly looks like vegetation, grass, some kind of growing bush. And even in the older characters you can see that still looks like a kind of growing bush. So let's have a look at our kanji once again and see how we can remember it. So this element here going across and down, that was derived from a bush, but it's just the same as the character for 10 and I think 10 or 10 o'clock is going to be much more useful for us to remember this character. So if we think of 10 there and then we know for a fact this element means sun and there it is across and round on the right all in one. Left to right in the middle, left to right finishing off. So we've got our 10 on the top, then we've got our sun and underneath we have another 10 like that. Now this bottom portion of the left hand element is in fact the same as the modern character meaning early and you can see the sun and 10 and in my books well if I had my way I would consider 10 when the sun rises as quite early and just to make that point there's another 10 up here on top so 10 sun and 10 or 10 and early I think that will help us quite easily remember that this kanji means morning. So 10 o'clock in the morning when the sun comes up. Now the right hand element which started off as a stream and then turned into something different looks identical to the modern day moon and it goes down on the left there with that slightly curvy moon shape across and without taking our pen off all the way down on the right with an optional tick on the bottom left to right for the middle strokes left to right and there we have moon on the right hand side. Okay, so on the left we've got 10 o'clock early and on the right we've got the moon. Well if you think in the morning the sun rises, 10 o'clock that's the morning and the moon, well that's going down. So 10 o'clock early in the morning when the moon goes down that's morning or asa.